What's up guys, Nick Plays Games here, and today I just wanted to make a quick video talking about some new details that came up last night regarding some music clearances and their potential ties to GTA 6 or whatever Rockstar Games next release may be taking place in. Before we get into the video, I just wanted to say thank you guys for 1200 subscribers, and if you didn't see it yet, I'm doing a giveaway for 1000 subscribers, so make sure you check out that video, I'll leave a link to it in the description. Now, these details come to us from a now-deleted tweet by Vector Hold on Twitter, which originally read, GTA 6 will most likely take place in Vice City. Music rights clearing people have been hitting up synthwave artists for a radio station. Now, for some background details on Vector Hold, Vector Hold is a new retro 80s synthwave project by Peter Brian Rice from the San Francisco Bay Area specializing in sound design and production for 80s and 90s retro gaming soundtracks and film scoring. Now, looking at their background and their details they're coming out with, to me personally, it doesn't look like it would be in their interest to intentionally stir up some fake news surrounding GTA 6. Also, the Twitter account for Vector Hold was made back in 2013, so we can get rid of the ideas of it being a new account made purely to spread rumors on GTA 6, and looking at the nature of their tweets, it looks like they very rarely talk about video games, let alone GTA. But then again, we should be a bit cautious when it comes to believing this, regardless of how legitimate it may actually look. Now, this is an interesting piece because most of the leaks and alleged rumors surrounding GTA 6 all have been mentioning that the game will take place in Vice City, with some mentioning different eras in the game. So for Rockstar Games to build a radio station based around synthwave type music would make a bit of sense if these rumors do hold any merit to them. Now, another interesting piece about this is that it may be indirectly giving us an idea of how far along GTA 6 or Rockstar Games' next release may be in terms of their development. Typically, work done regarding radio stations and adding music to a game are one of the final pieces in game development as the music usually needs to fit around the game and its environment and it's much easier to design and build the game and add music on top of those environments than trying to do it the other way around. Now, I know we've seen quite a few articles saying GTA 6 may be much farther away than we think it is, but some small clues we've seen this year, including this one from Vector Hold, appear to be saying otherwise. The second clue I want to go back to look at is some interesting new job releases that came back on the Rockstar Games website back in March of this year, which were openings for localization testers. Now, to explain a bit, localization testers are basically people that make sure that all content and text in the game makes sense grammatically for each language the game is translated in. So think about subtitles for cutscenes, music, and maybe even making sure that different artwork in the games that use different languages actually makes sense. Now, seeing these pop up back in March would mean that Rockstar Games has been working on translations for one or more of their games for a few months now, and considering the amount of openings this may be hinting that something big is being localized for several different regions, including German, Chinese, Korean, Spanish, and some other languages as well. Now, I don't want to say that this is GTA 6, as I have no idea as much as you guys do, but tying this together with the music clearances of the 80s synthwave music, Rockstar's next game is still being in early development, is starting to look like they have a different understanding of how early they are than we do, or they've sped things up since that claim has been made. That pretty much wraps up today's video, and with the PlayStation State of Play going on right now, I'll definitely be checking that out to see whether Rockstar Games decides to announce anything in terms of GTA 5 for the PS5 or anything else. For more GTA 5 news and Rockstar Games news, definitely follow me on Twitter if you guys do have a Twitter. I always leave that linked in the description, but typically when I do make videos, the topic of the video usually comes out earlier on Twitter, so if you guys want to get that news a bit faster, you can definitely follow me on there. As always guys, it's been Nick Plays Games, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!